I am nobody's bitch. You are mine. I will be the one. Suffocation! No, it's cut my life into pieces. I That's know. where it picks it up from. I know, but everybody... We're gonna watch the real reason Jet Li looks completely different now. Oh boy. We've only seen the one. It's the only movie we've seen of Jet Li. I've seen, so seen good. Cradle to the Great. <laughs> I've seen a lot of Jet Li films. <laughs> we covered the Iron Mask trailer yesterday, and I was talking about the trailer with somebody, then Jet Li got brought up, then something about Jet Li having a disease got brought up. Doesn't he have some kind of heart disease? I think like hyperthyroidism or something? Anyway, yeah. my buddy sent me the real reason Jet Li looks completely different now, and I'm like, all right, I'll just watch this, <laughs> you know? And, uh, you know, with Milan coming out and he's in it, figured it's a great time to understand why Jet Li hasn't really been around that much lately. Lee Leonji is one of the most well-known faces in martial arts movies, but you probably know him better as Jet Li. From martial arts movies in the 80s and 90s up to modern day franchises like The Expendables, Lee has been an action star legend. for as long as many <laughs> movie goers can too. remember. But fans were sent into a frenzy after a 2018 oh, photo wow. of the actor appearing aged beyond his years went viral. The snapshot was oh, almost man. unrecognizable as the great martial arts star. Oh, I've never seen Born that Born in 1963, photo. Hmm. the martial artist would have just turned 55 at the time the buzzworthy picture was posted, wow. but many thought he appeared to be 20 or 30 years older. People made their concerns known all around the world. But is there really any reason to worry? Here are the real reasons why Jet Li looks completely different. Kung Fu Cult Master. Okay. Jet Li is an actor with a one, rare resume. One. <laughs> Born in Beijing, Li grew up practicing so martial arts on a nationally competitive level, transitioning to a movie career in his late teens. Since then, he's appeared in both Chinese movies and Hollywood productions. But he's, he's done more than the Expendables, guys. <laughs> Lee's partial withdrawal from the spotlight had to do with a diagnosis of hyperthyroidism. Yeah, yeah. When he announced he was suffering from the illness, Lee said that the condition left him feeling uncertain as to whether or not he could continue working as an actor in martial arts movies. Despite this setback, Lee seemed content about the situation, saying in 2013, I'm in pain, but I'm not suffering. I'm happy. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Concerns gone viral. Lee's diagnosis again became cause for concern in May 2018 what when a this, photo baby? taken of him at a Tibet temple went viral. The photo, which showed the five foot six star hunched over with short gray hair and glasses, made him look remarkably older than his age. Lee's relative absence from American movie screens in recent years, coupled with the implied notion that he was gravely ill, helped the image to circulate rapidly. Suddenly, mm. a man who had convincingly defended entire nations on the screen oh, looked like the sort of person you would help cross the street. Yeah. Fortunately, things aren't nearly as bad as they might look. While an overactive thyroid can cause drastic Bad changes in one's weight and rest and heart rate, it's a treatable condition. While the disease has required oh, him to change it. up his lifestyle, it's reportedly never threatened his life. As his manager told the Washington Post, he has hyperthyroidism that he's been dealing with for almost 10 years. Oh, wow, it's nothing 10 like years. And he's dealing with it. He's all well and good. A painful career. Lee has a lot more going on with his body than an overactive thyroid. Black and he's been mask. building up damage in plain sight for our entertainment his whole life. As a result of his many injuries, mm. Lee has said he suffers from problems in his legs and spine, yeah, with the issues it. keeping him from being able to stand up straight for too long. The damage is part of a history in martial arts that goes back decades, earning him a torn knee that required surgery to fix at the age of 18, and a major back injury at the age of 23. According to the South China Morning Post, Lee has said he was told by doctors in 2013 that he would end up in a wheelchair if he continued to work in martial arts films, which helps to account Jesus. for his slowed output in the genre since then. Who could blame him? The movies he's already done get to live forever, but Lee himself only gets one chance. From a bad angle. Lee's public relations people were quick to pounce on the emerging viral story, with his manager telling USA Today that his client was, quote, completely fine. Though Lee's manager assured readers that Lee appreciated the outpouring of concern, he also made it clear that the rumors of Lee's declining health were greatly exaggerated, not to mention a snap judgment based on one photo of questionable composition. Fair. As Lee's manager put it, it's one picture and people are making these interpretations from it. If you so took a picture with of me people. at the wrong angle and the wrong time of day, I could look frail as well. Yeah, true. As the photo gained traction with news outlets around the world, social media commentators pointed out that much of Lee's appearance could come down to issues of lighting, posture, and other external factors not indicative of failing health. The bad photo theory has merit. In December 2017, Lee shared a photo on Instagram wishing his fans a happy new year. 
While his appearance in the video is similar to his look in the viral photo, he appears considerably healthier. Doesn't look older, super duper ill. Trouble. <laughs> Dear friends, this is Jack. I wish you happy holidays in the great year 2018. Romeo is fine. While Lee does look <laughs> different, Romeo it doesn't die. appear to be nope. because his health is declining. Nor are things as bad as one photo makes it look. Lee is still working as a filmmaker, though he's kept most of his work aside from the Expendable series in China. That may change soon, as the actor is reportedly in talks to star in the live-action version of Disney's Mulan. Still, how is this How is this video? Getting older, but rumors of his condition Romeo have been greatly die. exaggerated. Those Just because he's cooled it with the high kicks doesn't mean he's done kicking around. Double rainbow. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon Forbidden to Kingdom. subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you love too. I've never seen that photo. No, me neither. I just heard that. Yeah, his is he okay? Declined. <laughs> we gotta get. We gotta get to the bottom of this. I think they said a whole bunch of things in the video, but I wasn't really. I was listening. too busy being was... concerned about his frail <laughs> appearance in this photograph. <laughs> what I got from this was now it's time to have a follow up with him and Jackie Chan versing each other. Yeah, it's finally time for them to do an all out, no holds barred action extravaganza. It better know? be rated R for non stop action sequences, intense bloody violence. And actors performing their own stunts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It should come with one of those jackass disclaimers about like, don't try this at home. Everybody's <laughs> a professional. It is a bummer to hear about this. I heard something about a year ago, Ren, maybe right when this photo actually came out. Mm. He had a condition with, uh, uh, yeah, hyperthyroidism where his heart rate, like at, at resting point, could sometimes get up to like 130 to 140. Like if it got to a certain point, if he did any actual physical demanding exercises. Yeah. It could literally kill the guy. Yeah. You know, from a fan standpoint, of course that's disheartening. No, he should just keep making movies, man. He should go out yeah. the way he always wanted to. <laughs> yeah. On During a take. <laughs> yeah. take. That will be put into the movie. Yeah. I remember, you know, like Jackie Chan, growing up in the 90s, he came out to the scene, like Rumble in the Bronx brought some of his films over here, Rush Hour came out. Mm -hmm. And then eventually Jet Li came over here. His first American film was, he was the villain in Lethal Weapon 4. And people were psyched about that and I had seen some of his Chinese films before. I remember being younger and it was always like, Jet Li or Jackie Chan, yeah. who do you want? They were like my Marvel and DC growing up. Was, I remember this yeah. distinctly because you taught me the school of Jackie Chan. <laughs> yeah, and I decided with Jackie Chan, but there's no doubt. I, I think in terms of performer, Jackie Chan. In terms of martial artist, I would say Jet Li. Because well, Jet Li's fights just seem so intense and fast. I, like, I always yeah. remember that being the thing growing up is like Jackie Chan does the more slapstick and the more using found objects and Jet Li is just fast and lean and mean. Well, it's like <laughs> you know? Jackie Chan for sure is a real martial artist, yeah. but he grew up in Peking Wu Opera, so he was a, a really a performer. Mm. Whereas Jet Li was a heavy competitive martial artist, yeah, you know? Yeah. Like, that, that one clip of, one of him as a kid was insane. I don't think they do this with people now. I don't think they have like Donnie Yen go on a talk show. Remember when like Jackie Chan Jet Li would go on talk shows like Jalen or whatever, they'd always be like, can you perform some martial arts for us? Because we've never seen that before. You know? yeah. but I remember when Jet Li came on, I think it was for Romeo Must Die, and he did uh, a whole bunch of moves, and it was so cool, man. Did he beat the shit out of Jalen? Yeah, he beat the crap out of Leno. <laughs> like, you asked for it, Leno. <laughs> and Conan was in the audience that night. It's true what they're actually pointing out in this video. It's like, I think some people might see that photo and just chalk it up to age without actually doing research. But either way, even if it didn't have a disease and he was just getting older, his films have made such an impact in cinema. Oh, yeah. He is one of the people who I think has helped continue the wave or pave the way for a lot of martial arts legendary actors, oh, yeah. modern day ones as well. It's like, yeah, if he, if he has to retire, like let him retire. It's cool that he's still doing some work here and there, but if I see him like doing martial arts in a movie, I'm honestly gonna get a little concerned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because that was the I didn't actually know the reason, but the original thing I heard a few years back was yeah, he, he can't afford to get his heart rate up too high, otherwise it'll mean really bad repercussions, and so yeah, he's got to stop basically doing his strenuous martial arts type stuff. As much of a bummer as that is, he's in his fifties now. I mean, like, how much longer would you want to be making martial arts epics? I guess partly. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and also too, yeah, I, I like the deconstruction they did of the picture because the more you look at it the less frail he seemed to me in yeah. it especially the more pictures I see of him now because then I just remember how old he is and the fact that it has been a good long while since I saw like last time I saw him in an American movie was like Expendables 2 and he literally like pieces out of that movie in the first couple minutes and well he's <laughs> in Expendables 3 John oh sorry terrible not memory. much though 
Well, that He's was the not last much time you saw him in an expensive. American movie, John. Maybe he pieced out of that one. I can't remember. He pieced out of both. He pieced out of oh. both. We got to the bottom of this. <laughs> to see him working on other movies and stuff, even behind the scenes, and doing a lot of charity work. I saw one quote that said, like, yeah, part of why he hasn't been doing so much movies is because he's been doing a lot of philanthropy. Which, if that's true, yeah. you know, good on the guy for that. <laughs> I actually saw a quote going around Instagram from him recently. Like uh, and follow. Yeah. Please follow me. <laughs> I need product placement. Yes. <laughs> I can't do any more movies. And it really stuck with me. It's, it's rare where I just read some quote on social media and, I, and it makes me think for a while. There are people who will see you on their free time and then there are people who will make time to see you. We get a lot of random questions about how to handle friendships and social situations at our Patreon. Around the time I read that a few weeks ago, that really stuck with me. So he's a very wise gentleman. Yeah, you gotta make more time for Jet Li. All right, guys. Well, Jet Li, what is your favorite Jet Li movie or Jet Li fight scene? You better say the sequence when he's hopping structures in Cradle to the Grave. What's your favorite frail Jet Li photo? Oh, John, don't be insensitive. I'm sorry. White people. Uh, yeah, that was my whiteness talking. I don't understand. Nah, I don't get Asian it. Either. Culture. <laughs> Can't wait for that authentic Mulan movie where they're all speaking English. Subscribe to Looper. Subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click that notification bell to get notified whenever we got a video up. Let's end this with a <laughs> David Gandy. Mm -hmm. The whitest man we have at our Patreon. The whitest kids you know. So David, I wrote you a poem. Here it goes. The best poem you will have ever heard in your entire life. His name is David. A man I wish I had dated. Always on my radar. Excellent at the guitar will look sexy with a cigar. These words are the introduction to his memoir. <gasps> Mr. Gandhi, come down to LA, we'll toast with brandy. Cradle my Woody and I'll call you my Andy. <sighs> Side note, Mr. Gandhi, Toy Story's music is composed by Newman, Randy. Hails from the Bay Area, lick my very real ovaria as you serenade me with la cucaracha. Keep climbing the belting charts in the skills of martial arts. Watch the blood pressure, beware of those delicious Pop-Tarts, and you'll forever have my heart. I hope you share this at the next Sunday Mass where you are performing music. I hope you cradle his Woody at Sunday Mass. Toy Story it's is line, very Christly. Right? Woody, I'll call you my Andy. It's, it's a great line. It's a good line. I'm going to get it. It's kind of clever.